Hi, I'm Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap. I want to talk to you about why do I top the ball? Why am I constantly topping the ball? Well, normally that occurs for one of only a couple reasons. Number one, the bottom of the swing happens at a point where the ball isn't. So if I'm if the bottom of the swing is back here, even if I'm not hitting the ground, by the time I get to the ball, I won't be flush with the ground. I need to be flush with the ground at or slightly after the ball for ideal strikes. One way to simply check that, take out your smartphone, take a look at where you are at impact. We've done some other impact uh, videos. We know that we want this lowercase letter Y, but then more importantly, right after impact, about two feet that the club traveled, three feet that the club traveled, take a look at what your arms look like. Because if you're topping it and your arms are bending or you're changing the length from where your lead shoulder is to where the hosel is, well, that's going to influence what's happening at the ball. A lot of people top it, they, so they say, well, I gotta stay down, I gotta stay down. And that gets the arms to actually collapse even more. We don't wanna stay down. We wanna check for just after post impact, make sure that the measurement of the lead arm and even the trail arm is at full length. I think that would be the first thing that I would check. What happens then is the bottom of the swing becomes more consistent. If you have a radius, the distance from here to there, that's changing all the time, it's gonna be really hard to control the bottom and that's why your shots are uh, inconsistent. So check this first. Squeeze the arms together, maybe even add a little pressure of them squeezing and holding so that you can really get the feel for maintaining the radius. That should help out with your topping issue.